So it turns out Google have now scrapped smart shopping campaigns, which were a great campaign type if you're an advertiser running ads on Google for shopping specifically. Now, smart shopping campaigns are going to be replaced. That's not the end of shopping with automation. They're now moving over to performance max campaigns. And if you don't know, this is a relatively new campaign type by Google, which is thought to give you better results for your money to allow you to reach further into the depth of the Google network. But what are the implications of moving away from smart shopping over to performance max? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the implications and what you should or shouldn't be doing with your performance max campaigns in order to replicate the performance you've had previously with your original smart shopping campaigns. Stay tuned. Before I get started, I want to introduce you to my training center, the SEMacademy.com, which is a specialist accredited Google Ads training center with over 80 tutorials and lessons helping you develop your skills in Google Ads. And what's more, any student who enrolls on the SEMacademy.com will get direct access to me to ask me any questions you like. So if you're interested in becoming CPD certified as a Google Ads expert and also have direct access to ask me anything, head over to the SEMacademy.com to find out more. So back to shopping campaigns. Advertisers used to have two choices when setting up a shopping campaign on Google. You used to be able to set up a manual shopping campaign and a smart shopping campaign, both of which have slightly different outcomes. A manual campaign means you had to control your bids yourself for all of your product groups, meaning you set your own max CPC bids, so which could be quite effective if you wanted that level of control. On the other hand, there was smart shopping campaigns where you didn't set your own bids. You let Google decide your bids at the point of auction using Google's automation and as a result most people transitioned away from manual shopping campaigns over to smart shopping campaigns because if you're like me and you're running shopping campaigns these were getting great results smart shopping was working I found very few advertisers actually have a dislike for smart shopping even though you had less control than manual shopping campaigns typically your ad ROAS was gonna be better with smart shopping so it was a great campaign. So why would Google get rid of their best shopping campaign type and completely remove it from the system and move over to Performance Max campaigns? Well, it's thought that Google thinks that because Performance Max reaches further than a smart shopping campaign could, it means Google thinks they can get better results because they're reaching more people in the buying cycle for the particular products and services you might be providing on Google Shopping. Remember, when it comes to Performance Max, this type of campaign can reach way beyond just search alone. It also goes into YouTube, display, the discovery feed on Android devices, Gmail, and also even Google Maps. So it covers a lot more ground than just search itself. And Google's logic is that by going further afield, they can find a bigger pool of customers that potentially would be interested in your services, meaning more sales and conversions for your campaigns. Now think of Facebook ads. Facebook ads does pretty much the same thing. You give Facebook ads a wide reach and a broad option with some targeting and some direction, but the idea is Facebook will go forth and find customers for you. Google want to do the same thing using their ad network and all of their reach from all of their products to hopefully get the same results for you. So it all sounds really positive so far, so you know what's coming. There is a negative. Of course, Performance Max campaigns mean you have even less control than smart shopping campaigns, which have less control than manual shopping campaigns. So again, it's a further step away from smart shopping campaigns because you have even less control. So I mentioned all of those networks, including YouTube, Google Maps, the Discovery Feed, and many other places. It would be great if you as an advertiser could see where your money was being spent across those networks and what breakdown of costs you're looking at across each of these areas and how they lead to a good return on advertising spend. Well, of course, Google have hidden that data. The only thing you get are some insights in the Insights tab of the Performance Max campaign you're managing to give you some general direction of the search terms being used within the campaign and the general sentiment of customers and the crossover of potential audiences they may be tied into. Now, this gives you so little visibility and, and ability to optimize performance. There's not many levers you as an advertiser can pull with this campaign type. Another key thing to mention is that with Performance Max, you don't have ads, you have an asset group because that asset group contains all the elements of a potential ad within all of those networks I explained. So from the search side of things, you choose your headlines, your descriptions, your site link extensions, your call -out 
layout extensions and all the other kinds of search focused ad extensions you're used to and accustomed to. But then you obviously go onto YouTube and you can upload video advertising as well. You can upload images. You can upload other pieces of content to your campaign as well. So you can really add a ton of assets into your um, into your asset group in order to improve performance potentially. However, that is a stumbling block when it comes to shopping campaigns. If you want to replicate as closely as possible the previous good results you had from your smart shopping campaign into this new campaign type, then what you're going to have to do is make sure the only asset you plug into your campaign is your Google merchant shopping feed. The reason for that is because it forces Google to only advertise your products. So it's like for like comparison to your previous running Google shopping campaign in terms of smart shopping. Although it is tempting to go ahead and add all of your videos and all of your search campaign options within a Performance Max campaign that was previously focused around shopping in terms of smart shopping, don't do it because what happens is Google will use those assets and then advertise search options as well. And what can happen quite frequently is you end up showing for a lot of brand related searches. When you check your insights tab, you'll see that your brand is probably going to be one of the most common types of search that is triggered so if you, if you want a, a true like for like comparison to a smart shopping campaign then just add your google feed and don't be tricked into thinking that google won't accept your ad or your asset group unless you save loads of elements you don't have to save loads of elements just stick to your shopping feed but there is one more thing you can do in order to help the Performance Max campaign find customers for your business, and that is to provide the campaign with an audience because that audience is going to give them a steer as to who your customers are. So if you have a document in terms of an Excel sheet with all of your existing customers on, you can actually upload that data into your Performance Max campaigns to supplement that asset group, and Google will use that as a steer and as a guide to help them find customers who look like that audience, meaning you can optimize your campaigns a lot faster. And finally, the last thing you need to remember with a Performance Max campaign is that within the settings, you can actually decide whether or not you want Google to focus on existing customers and new customers or new customers primarily. And what you can do is actually tell Google how much more value a new customer is worth to you than an existing customer. Because of course, getting a new customer into an e-commerce business who could spend time and time again in the future is going to be so much more valuable than spending money acquiring a customer you already have in your database who's ordered from you previously. So you can actually use this as a steer to give Google some interesting direction as to whether or not you should focus on new or existing customers. So say for example, you wanted your emails to be the thing that ropes new customers back in because it's a cheaper cost of acquisition. You could do that. You could ask Google to focus on primarily new business. So your ad, your, your spend is basically focused around getting new customers. So within the settings, you can find this and you can set this as well. So it's something else to consider when running a Performance Max campaign. And that's it. I really hope these tips have helped you transition away from your smart shopping campaign over to Performance Max. I highlighted a couple of pitfalls to look out for and a couple of points of optimization to help you along your way. I'd be really interested to hear from you what your thoughts are on Performance Max as a campaign type compared to smart shopping or even manual shopping as well. Let me know in the comments below. I reply to pretty much every comment on all of my new videos. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the other content across my channel. And more importantly, head over to the semacademy.com to find out more about our CPD accredited training. And I'll see you guys on the next video.